What's up, everybody? Welcome again to the Middle Sphere. My name is Santi. In this video, we want to talk about the current condition of the market uh, to know where and where we're headed. Are we still in the bull market or are we in the bear market? Uh, we will look at this from a technical analysis point of view. Uh, you are going to be seeing a lot of videos like this in our technical analysis series where I'll be dropping uh, a, you know, all this analysis, looking at different uh, coins on the market. Right now, we're looking at the Bitcoin chart on the one day uh, time frame, and uh, we're going to be looking to see what's happening in the current market. OK, so uh, please hit the notification icon to get notified every time this kind of video uh, in our technical analysis playlist that we'll be creating very soon. And also, uh, you can like this video if you find it to be uh, valuable and also make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. So let's get started to what we have for the day. And I will not make this video too long. I'm going to just, you know, give you a little bit of recap uh, on what we did in the previous video. And then I'll talk about how uh, the market is moving currently right now. So uh, we all know the price of Bitcoin is currently trading uh, right about this time. We are trading at $41,717. And that's right, right here, that's $21. Uh, and then this particular i just want to do a recap and recap is you know we we did a video last last uh year where we talked about the price of bitcoin going all the way to 100k uh we were excited and the, the euphoria at the moment you know made us to think that we were we are going to go there otherwise uh the chart showed us something else that i w i indicated when i drew this uh particular channel right here so i left this i did not delete uh, the analysis I did back then, actually, some of the zones I drew in those in those videos back then, and if you if you've not watched the video, I'm going to put it uh, the link in the description so you can watch it and just see uh, where we're coming from. So these zones were like key areas that we mapped out to see what uh, the the reaction of Bitcoin will be at those points. However, this day before I I did this particular. Uh, 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 in the analysis, this charting that I did here, I actually uh, did use one of these uh, technical indicators to check, and I think uh, it was the the Elliott wave, and I was a little bit careful. You know, I was a little bit scared when I came up with that because I saw that we were in the last leg of the of the Elliott wave, and I knew that something might come up that would send us, you know down and uh, actually i didn't do that analysis here it was just something i was doing on my own so i i was not able to show you uh what i really did there but i i had that in the back of my mind so when, when we saw the movements in the market we we're like okay fine we could get to 100k but this channel i drew here actually stood its test because in the video i talked about us rejecting from this place that if i wanted to short bitcoin i was going to short it from this point and actually, that is the zone that Bitcoin uh, got to last before it started crashing. Uh, so it's a 68, 69K level, which uh, was the all-time high. And then Bitcoin started falling. And ever since that moment, it has never gone back there uh, anymore. So it took a lot for us to move there. However, there are some good signs. Uh, if we look at this, if we go back all the way uh, to the, uh, the previous... Uh, history of Bitcoin uh, on, on this chart right here, we see that this zone we we have twenty nine thousand. It's a very solid zone. Now this is the zone that Bitcoin fell to, and then recovered all the way back and went all the way from here from twenty nine k all the way to sixty sixty nine thousand. Okay, so what are we looking at right now? After it got here, we crashed. And then it's now in the zone again. It's coming to the zone. Although it didn't really hit the zone, it, it ended up at 32,000. But you see this is a very powerful liquidity zone. A very powerful liquidity zone. There are a lot of buy orders sitting here that could send the price of Bitcoin up again. So if you were to buy Bitcoin, now if you look at it, it's a, it's a, it's a very good zone. Uh, if you look at the, the historical uh, data, you can see that this zone is quite it sends Bitcoin to a different you know, level every time it comes there. Now, there, there was a breakthrough 
a break through this zone the first time went all the way up came down we tested that 28k level 29k level and went all the way up bitcoin went all the way up to 58,000, fell down back again to 43 and then went all the way up again came down came to this level so the first time we hit 60k levels was here and that was in april uh and then before the market came down crashing and it fell a lot and then came into this zone of 29,000 again now it came here went back up again tested and then from there we got that movement that took us all the way here now let's look at let's let's zoom in and see so after we came here we fell down and then the 43k support came in now this is where i am i'm very 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 uh careful about the market this support zone is a zone that we are right, right now we're trading in and this is a support that was broken and i see this as a retest of that zone it was broken and now it has become a resistance and this is a retest of it it has not been retested ever since we broke there when it broke through this candle right here what you see right here let me just let me, let me use this to draw you know what we see here that's a break of the zone and it has not retested this is a broke so i see this as a retest i don't know uh we may actually react in a different way and come back uh we break all the way up you never know with bitcoin a lot of us predicted 100k but right here we are trading at 40 for the you know so if we are to break above this zone then i say okay fine we can go all the way to 44,000 and go for 7,000. but if we are to reject from here then i think we're going to fall deeper to the 33k or the 29k zone which is where i would be setting my buy orders uh so that you can buy and go all the way up however i'm not trading the market at this moment because i think we are in a bear market and all this are just you know uh they are just they're just traps they're traps for you to to get you so uh this is my this is my view on what is happening right now uh we never know with bitcoin you know, you can you can actually make all this analysis and think maybe you know uh, uh things will go your way but at the end of the day uh the market is always going to be the one who decides uh, we just look at this chart and uh, we 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 can project and say okay we can be careful but uh, the market will do what it's going to do anyways so uh, that is what it is all right so uh this is just uh, a video that we uh, if you want to you know check out i don't i just want you to be careful if you're trading right now uh if you found this video to be valuable uh, please hit the, the, the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our, our channel if you you know you want to get uh videos like this so from time to time we're going to be doing technical analysis and we're going to create a playlist uh, for technical analysis so uh thank you very much uh, please subscribe 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 help us to get to 100 uh subscribers and then we can go all the way from there to 1000 which is our next target uh and on this on the ministry we're going to be releasing a lot of videos on uh, different videos talking about personal development personal finance and uh just the financial markets so that's what the military is about and uh we would like to you know create a community where we can share all the opportunities with ourselves so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one peace